We turn now to one of our favorite guests, an incredible comedian, actor, best-selling author. Yes, it's not like him. Just keep your guard up. There's going to be land monsters everywhere. Ah! Ah! Thank you. No! Oh, no! Wait! Today! Ow! Land ow, monster! Ow, ow, ow. It's me! Oh, what? You scared the scales off of me! Jeez, <gasps> you're strong. I'm sorry, I'm just a little on edge. No, I needed that. It, it really woke me up. Wow, we look horrifying. Ugh, gross. <laughs> okay, Tim, let me bring you in here. You play the father of a teenage sea monster who runs away with a friend. Now, in real life, you are a dad to five. I have it right, five kids. What was what was Father's Day like? You're, you're not with him because you're on location uh, working right now. I'm not. Yeah, I I'm in uh, Vancouver working on a movie, so it was it was a little bit sad, but it's also. You know, that's what dads want on Father's Day is like to <laughs> feel like they're a father <laughs> in a weird way. It was kind of just de decompressing and, you know, doing a FaceTime with everyone. But, uh, you know, I should point out for yep. this movie, uh, I gained 50 pounds for this role. And they were like, you don't need to do that. It's animated. Yeah. And I did it anyway. <laughs> well, you, you look good now, but have the kids, have they given you a review of the movie yet? Yeah, well, they loved it. Okay. I love how my kids are always surprised. They're like, it's good. Like, I'm like, hopefully I am associated with good things, but they're <laughs> they're the toughest critics. And But, you know, it's Pixar, so you know that there's, you know, a, a quality that's consistent with Pixar, and it's just so exciting as a, an actor and a performer to be associated with Pixar. Well, Jim, are, are you able to, I mean, even though it's animated, you do play a dad, an animated dad, but is there anything from your experience in real life as a dad that you can bring into a role like this? Well, I think that Lorenzo is kind of uh, overwhelmed. Hopefully I'm not as distracted as the character I play in Luca, but yeah, you know, there's, there's something to be said for it wasn't a stretch to play, uh, you know, a distracted, overwhelmed dad. That was kind of in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I feel like that's been my experience in parenting. Now, when folks go, you, you're, we, we've been doing stories about us. Uh, we've seen crowds uh, gathering again at games, at concerts. You're actually going to be going back on tour coming up pretty soon. Uh, I assume you're excited about that. But when you get back out there, are people going to see that new look of yours with the uh, with the Santa Claus thing? I'm not making fun. You're the one said you you look kind of like a Santa Claus. Well, I look like a very sexy Santa Claus, like a very, <laughs> or a, a, I would say like Santa Claus if he was uh, portrayed by C. Everett Koo. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but it's this is for uh, I'm shooting Peter Pan up here, where I'm of course playing the role of Wendy. No, it's, <laughs> I'm playing Smee, so he has to, you know, have this thing. And I am a beard guy, but not this crazy of a beard. Okay, well, thank you for keeping me from having to call you a sexy Santa Claus. You, you said it yourself. We got it in there. Jim, it's really always, it's always a pleasure. Truth. Yeah, but it's always a pleasure to see you. You want folks to know that Luca is streaming now on Disney+. Plus. Jim, always a pleasure, my man. We'll see you down the road. Thanks so much. <laughs>